This is our uh, Turtles for Kids painting, Turtles for All Ages. And the colors I have are white and turquoise and green and brown and yellow and black. And this painting is pretty much um, like our uh, like our footprints painting as far as how, how to set it up, but it's got a couple of little things, including a wash at the end. It's a little bit different. So here's the deal. I'm gonna start off with white paint and a little bit of turquoise. I'm gonna paint, the, paint the, this back and forth like we do. I think with the, with the footsteps we or footprints we use um, navy. With this one we use the turquoise. I want this line to be a little bit above the center. So I'll come a little bit above the center, put a line across like that. Paint nice long strokes. Make sure when the kids um, paint it, when they when they when they're done with it, it's not all globby that they flatten it out some. So it, it looks blended and and multicolored, not not solid one solid color. But there's no sense of having globs up on it. So just take that across like that, nice long strokes like we do without without having a lot of little choppy strokes in it. And then um, when that's done, I'll paint the uh, water. Paint the water like we always paint water. We'll hold the brush flat. We're going to use turquoise and green and white instead of turquoise and I'm sorry, instead of green and uh, navy and white. And I'm going to get myself a little scoop of white. No, no need to clean the brush because I'm going to use turquoise again. A little turquoise on one corner, a little green on the other corner. Hold the brush flat. Start stroking it back and forth like that. Just swing the brush back and forth without overbrushing it. The turquoise and green can make a, um, a not so pretty color if you overbrush them. But if they're just kind of blending together lightly, it looks real nice. And I'm going to come down, not quite halfway down, but just a little bit below, kind of as much below the halfway point as I was above the halfway point. So down a few inches like that. And I'll put a line across there like that, nice level line. Swing back and forth like we do. I will um, not, I'll, I'll have the kids stop and not paint the, uh, horizon until after we've painted the uh, the lower part and then when we're, we'll get ready for the horizon get some more paint work it out a little bit where you've already got paint blended so that you got some paint blended on your brush just swing that brush back and forth but up here I got to hold the brush flat like that flat up so I can see the so that I see the top of the brush and run a line across like that so I can see actually see it which which the top of the brush allows me to do and make sure this looks pretty level and not wavy because I want this to look far away. And then swing your brush like the like we had just done before to blend it back into your background. I'm sorry, but blend it back into your existing water. Kind of like that, okay? Simple, simple. All right, then I'm gonna get myself some um, I remember my brush out. And I like to go for, I like to go from the green and blue to the sand uh, by first priming the brush in brown, dip the brush in the brown, paint the table some, let it be a little bit um, you know brownish now. But I'm gonna get a scoop of white, which I need to get more of. And I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow. Usually, we don't use yellow, but I'll put a little bit of yellow in there too. So, white and brown, a little bit of yellow, kind of blend that nice and pretty, nice and kind of golden looking. But more white than that. Um, that's a little bit dark looking, a little more white. Sorry. A little more white than that. Let's go some more white, just lightly brush that. Easy, easy, easy. And then when I get up higher, it's a little yucky, but um, you get the idea. I got a little blue in there. When I get up higher, I will do the high part last, and I'll just lightly, lightly bring that brush just a little bit over the, the water so that I either get a little blended edge or a little scratchy edge, just so that looks softer than the uh, separation between the sky and the uh, water, the horizon there, so it looks like, it, like it's nearer, nearer and not so harsh. Okay, now once that's done, that's the end of that, I'm gonna start painting my tree. Now I'll paint my tree the same way I do it with the, uh, with the, um, Footprints painting. Now this will be a little drier than mine is now, but I'll dip my big brush into the brown paint, just plain brown. I'll come over a couple of inches right about there, and I want the tree to end somewhere a little bit over from the middle. So find the middle, and I'll come over a couple of inches, and go up a couple of inches, somewhere right in that neighborhood right there, I'll put a little mark. So again, I came from I hit the middle, came a couple inches over, a couple inches up. There's really no other relationship that it has there. It's maybe a third of the way up the kit canvas but all these other lines are confusing so I'll just base it on the, the edge of the horizon middle over a couple up a couple and then very lightly I'll sketch a little line that goes up just kind of up 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 to there like that and then I'll actually make it a tree now now that I know where it's going to be going I'll paint a little stronger line and a little stronger hopefully it'll be drier back there but even if it's not it's just brown and then a little bit broader at the base narrower at the top but not a whole lot of thickness there because I want it to look real um you know, real, real thin. That's a little thick down there. But the main thing is, you want the taper. You don't want it to get thick in the middle. Okay. Then once that's done, I will rinse my brush out and get some green paint. And I'm going to use green. I got seven fronds on here. I guess just because I wanted an odd number. You'd have fewer than that if you like. But I'm going to dip my brush into the green. 
same brush. I'm going to point my brush up and make a little curve comes out like that, and then lift off my brush a little bit, like we do with the um, with the other tree, trees that we do with the kids, and out like that. So each one's a little bit um, further out. I'll bring one out like that, and then I'm going to little push a little bit more like that. I'll come out this way. I'll make one come up like that, and get, get more paint for each one, so they don't start getting weak on you. Out like that. And I'll put a couple more on, I'll put like one there, and then I just want that, that split to be at the top. So I'll bring one more up, kind of like that, a little shorter one up like that, that looks nice. And uh, so that one at the top's a little shorter so I don't end up with a split on both sides, which is why I have an odd number of, uh, of fronds, okay? Then I'm, gonna, um, I'm done with that, get my pointy brush, and I'll go into my brown paint and get some brown paint with my pointy brush, and I'll make some little ovals, kind of sideways, or angled ovals. I'll put one that kind of goes off the bottom like that. That's right around the middle, okay? Let me a little bit over and paint it in lightly. You can draw them all first and paint them in. And I'll put one right about there. Just a nice little, like a zero type shape. It's long, but it's a little bit angled. And I'll angle them all the same so it looks like the turtles are all going in the same direction. And uh, I'll put one over here. Now, again, you have to do it just like that, but something like that where one goes, it's always nice to have one coming in from the bottom. That makes it look more dynamic. And more interesting, and then I'll paint those in with brown, which I'll look browner once you do it, and uh, like that. And then um, I'll rinse my brush out, and I want to go right to my green paint because I want to get my my uh, legs and uh, head on there um, early enough to be able to paint my uh, my shadows because I need to have it dry. So I get just plain green out. But the green, all I'm going to do is take the brush kind of flat like this and just put a little, it's almost like the shape of the brush, but I'll push it a little bit like that and get myself a little head. So it's flat, but when I push it a little bit, it goes a little bit wide. It looks like a little turtle head like that. And then on the bottom, is I just have two little, just one, two. Make sure that you see the angle of them so that you, you do them in line with the angle of the uh, turtle. Just one, two, one, two like that. There's none on this one because his legs are, are uh, gone off the bottom. And then the, the arms are like this. They kind of come out like that and then they, then they flip out and down. So they flip out and down like that. And it looks kind of weird when you're painting it um, like this because they just look like they're stuck on there like stickers. They don't look like they're part of the painting. And that's why we're going to add the little um, shadow coming up like so. And then this one's going to get whatever this one gets which is going to be probably a couple of arms or the one goes off the bottom. And again, that should be a little truer green when you actually do it. Okay, then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna get some black paint. And at that point, I'll get some black, just regular black, and I'm gonna go up the sides of my tree. And my sides of my tree, because it'll be you know, long, more since time will fast. I'm gonna do a little up and down line, like that, up and down, up and down, up and down. This is the mess here, because it's wet, but um, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I get my edge now. And again, it's gonna look better on your on your finished one, but just like that, up and down, up and down, up and down. This is really bad. I should probably quit and come back when it's drier, but um, I think you get the idea. Just up and down like that, real tight, though, so, so it stays it stays adhering to the edge of my um, canvas, uh, to the edge of my tree trunk, in other words. There's not a big gap in there. And so just the up and back, up and back, and this is not gonna be wet like this when you do it. Up and back, 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 all the way up. And then, um, I'm going to make a little wiggly line like this, kind of wiggle in the middle, and then kind of let it go a little bit like that, kind of like we do with the other painting. But when I wiggle it, it's kind of tight at the top, so it's a little shadowy there. And then it just wiggles on down so that the upper part gets a little bit heavier for the shadow from the fronds, and then kind of gives way so it's a little bit lighter, and then just goes to the brown of the tree. And then the bottom of my fronds, I'm going to do differently than the other painting that we do with the footprints. I'm going to do this like this. I'm going to go down, down. Gosh, I sure wish that was drier. Go like down, 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 like that. So it's the same kind of thing as this, but they're gonna come out and down, 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 down. And um, get a nice little um, kind of a, so it looks like my fronds are um, kind of hanging down a little bit. And this should just be a little outline, down, 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 like that. Just a little zigzag coming out, down, down, down. Just out, come out and down. It's that still same little sawtooth line like that, out and down. And you get some sense of it here with the video being a little rough because they're wet. And then uh, they'll always do the underside. Whatever, whatever way it's curved, they'll always do the underside of the curve, not the upper side of the curve. And then if I need to, I'll take a look at it. And if I've got a really big open area, I might take some of these where I got a like, big open area right there and bring this one back a little bit like that so it comes into the tree. And that way my, um, I won't have that great big open area in the middle. Um, so it could be really nice to bring these back in a little bit 
onto the green if necessary, like that. Okay, that was pretty good, even though it's a little wet. Okay, then I'm gonna go to my, um, my little uh, turtles. My turtles are gonna have two eyes. Just gonna touch one, one, two. They're gonna be on either side of the head, but on the green, like that one, two, one, two, one, two. And uh, kind of like snake eyes would be, just on either side a little bit. Just one, these are a little bit, this is wet. Okay, then I'm going to do a little curve. The way I'm going to do the, uh, the uh, shells to get a little bit of uh, dimension is I'm going to make a curve that goes around the whole left side like that. I think my green's kind of blended in there, but it kind of goes like this, just lightly like that, around like so. So from the head down around and then go a little bit past the legs is a good place to be, like that. And this will just kind of go off the bottom. And then they'll get a little bit of a, uh, cut them a few little lines that come out like this. Just a few little texture lines, just one, two, three, kind of like that, one, two, three, just kind of like that. Kind of like that, looks good. And um, just give us a little stylized um, illusion of a um, little turtle with a little uh, round shell. It's got a little shadow on one side. And then I'm going to go to my, I think I'm going to go to my white paint next because I want to have a little bit of a chance to have everything dry before I let the washes in. So I'll go to some white paint and very lightly, I don't usually like to do this, so I'm going to do it really lightly. I'm going to take some white and I'm going to really dab it off well so it's not too strong. And I'm going to do a really light little wiggly thing like that across the, uh, the shore, but it's real light, not real heavy. It's just real soft, okay, real soft. Not real strong. If it gets real strong on the edges, run your fingers off the side so it doesn't start and end abruptly. And then the um, the birds, we've done birds like this before. My brush looks flat, it looks like it's flat. It's got a little flat square edge. So I'm gonna take my brush and hold it flat and I'll go in with the brush straight. So the brush is like, here's the, what the brush looks like. I'm going in with it like this. And I'll come in and down and down and up, which we've done before. I'll come in and down like that so I go in narrow and come down wide because I'm not turning the brush at all or my wrist. I'm just the whole thing to in and down. Then I'll go up and out like that, up and out. So that there's a little bit of a crossover there to, to um, suggest that little bit of tail and body and stuff. And I'll do um, I'll do a couple over here again, narrow, wide, in and down, and then up and out like that. So you guys see, because the, the the wings are wider closer to the body, you know, like your your um, biceps are wider than your forearms, and your forearms are out here and thinner. And I'll do one more out here, and one I grab out there, in and down and down and up. And a little bit of crossover just where it looks like a little bird. Uh, looks cool. All right, then I'm gonna make a wash. Now the washes I want to be careful with. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of um, water on my plate water and a little bit of brown and a little bit of black but I want to make sure it's real watery real watery um, not drippy watery but just watery wet enough to where I can it looks like it's transparent kind of like watercolor and then I'm going to dab my brush off so it's not too strong with paint okay not too strong with paint and I'm going to brush in a little bit like this just in from the from the bottom like that brush in a little bit of um, shadow coming in, uh, presumably this will be dry back here, so that you get a little um, shadow coming in from your um, tree, like that. Now this is a little wet back here, unfortunately, so it's not quite laying on like I wanted to. Kind of like that. It looks kind of cool. And then I'll use the same wash to lay in a few little marks around. The marks look good. They're like little um, shells and things like that. There's little marks around. Those little dots, just randomly dots. And then this is the part that's going to be trickier to show with the things wet, but I'm gonna get some of that color from that wash. I'm gonna put a little edge on the sand to the left of that head right there. I'm darned if I can't quite show that. Just a little bit, there you go, kinda of like that. There's a little bit of shadow to the left. And I'm gonna put a little bit to the left of the body right there like that. That's pretty good. I'm not quite touching it, but you get the idea. And then a little bit to the inside of that, or the underside of that arm there like that. And then a little bit, if you can, in between the legs, like so. And uh, I'll come to the next one like that. And if, if, you, if your stroke on the, on the inside of the shell is not catching the bottom of this one, you can go around the bottom of that arm too, kind of like you're doing on this one. But usually this line might catch the bottom of that one as well. A little line right here, a line right here. And so they start to integrate into the uh, surface. Now what I'm going to do, and so they pretend like the other ones are done, I'm going to come back and show you this one again so that you can see it better because you'll be working on a dry painting more than I did. 
but here's the um, here's the look. Here's the idea. You've got um, that little dry, little bit of black, blackish brown goes under there, up against. Make sure it touches there, 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 underneath like that. And it looks like they're um, they're all sweet, and that looks a lot better when it's dry. That's a little shadow coming in. Um, so you get a little shadow edge. Looks looks good. So um, you get a little better sense of the edge here too, with the obviously the yeah, with the um, paint being dry. But uh, you'll be able to do great, and it's going to be a um, cute little painting because I like it. Bye. Thank you.